just doing a weird test to see if YouTube Live is working. Looks like there might be a hectic, hectic delay. Well, I've just discovered something new. Ah, I think I think it's working though. I think you could potentially be watching me right now. Hi! I think it's working. It's YouTube. We're doing. I'm making some YouTube. Um, my name is Pat. I'm sure you're one of all all three of you watching uh, know who I am. So let's not bother with that bullshit. What I have here: stack of sketchbooks. These sketchbooks uh, document about six years of my life. What I'm going to do is give you a little tour of my sketchbooks. Um, my hope is that uh, you can uh, you can kind of see a lot of like background work that hasn't been uh, that I haven't really shown anybody um, that that informs a graphic novel that I'm launching on the weekend. So that's what this uh, this mini live stream is all about. So. Let me start with this one. This is, this is the first time I bought a really nice sketchbook and decided that I was going to be one of those serious artists who used a visual journaling practice. Um, and this one took me about a year to fill. Um, and I think it's maybe even longer. I think th this one is from sort of like 10 years ago. Um, the, the sketchbook brand is uh, Dalla Rowney. You should totally... Uh, totally get one of those. I don't think they make them as, as well as they used to. But um, so let's have a look at this one. So isn't this a pretentious first page for a sketchbook? So bad. So uh, so one of the things you uh, you learn when you start visual, visual journaling is that um, The best, the, the 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 more you do it, the 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 the, the less stiff it's going to be. Um, and I think I was trying to use the visual journal to show off what I was good at, which is the dumbest thing to do with like a with like a sketchbook. But I did uh, I did use it to collect images. And this moment here, this um, these these parsnips were of, uh, a very very important sort of uh, moment for me because they articulated a very specific vibe. So this stuff was a uh, sketchbook in development for my uh, graphic novel Blue. There's a bunch of uh, different visual ideas, sort of like like at play here. Um, trying to mostly what I, I what I do in here is um, is feel around for designs. That one, drawn by me, inked by Craig Thompson, um, was a bit of a bit of a moment of discovery. That's when I committed, really committed to the the rubber hose kind of school of cartooning. Man, Craig did a good job on that. Uh, there's my phone number. Please don't call me. Um, this one here was actually a bit of a. Uh, the, both of these, the, the, this this sort of was a, was a couple of moments where I sort of made a bit of a breakthrough on a gra another graphic novel, and that was sort of mm, one of the themes of the book was this sort of weird, creepy relationship between uh, between landscape and character, and so this sort of uh, this drawing here encapsulated that. Um, what else have I got? All so controlled. Now this one was a bit of a um, breakthrough as well, and so that this this sort of ended up being a kind of uh, Australian flora pattern making that I that I I used a lot when I was uh, when I was working on the the graphic novel Blue and drawing uh, frontier characters. This dude looks like my father. He's a weird uh, thug from uh, the City of Shadows, blah, blah, blah. I mean, is, this is the sort of shit that I would never have in a sketchbook now, this sort of like, it's like a finished illustration. Whoa, look at that. Uh, weird stuff. So this was a bit of a m m moment of discovery too. Like it's like a fucking chintzy hipster teapot thing. But, um, oh, teapots, they're so cute and inoffensive. Owls and teapots, yay. But um, actually, uh, this this ended up being really important sort of visual motif for for that graphic novel. I, I I used a different kind of process, but I the idea of building up building up a shape through meshworks of lines. 
did a lot of drawing from photos at this stage in my life. Ugh, gross. As if you would do that. But I, uh, so that's, uh, this cartoonist, maybe his name is Jerry Maguire. As a kid and as an adult. Really, really quite proud of the, some of these, these drawings. There's, uh, Uncle Will drawing a dick. Did a whole series of uh, respectable cartoonists drawing dicks. Quite fun. Um, that is a page, page in blue, that, that, that sketch there. And this again, another, another sort of landscape motif from, from, from blue. Oh, I, shared a, I shared a studio with this fantastic poet called Tim. Oh, I do like that drawing of Tim. It's a shit drawing, but man, it's, it captures that, that moment in time. Ends up being those are that's what I kind of learned. As you see, things are starting to get loose as I go towards the back of the sketchbook. I'm starting to learn that these are these are sort of a different kind of repository of uh, ideas and experiments and memories. So you can see that teapot idea suddenly translated a little bit to the what ended up being a big typographic sort of uh, uh, theme for for that book. Oh fuck! I forgot about this. <laughs> I started this. Uh, I started doing this sort of like web comic that never got made. Oof, that was a that was a fucking failed project. And more, just more stuff. More more web comic that never even got scanned. Here's some thumbnails for comics. As I as I get got more and more um, confident in my practice, I uh, I spend a lot more time. You can see there's a lot more of this shit in my in my sketchbook. Actual problem solving, not trying to show off, but actual act, not trying to use the skills that you are uh, that that you already have, but actually trying to find, trying to find find like the solution to a problem, or trying to find a new aesthetic or, or something like that. Trip to Marubra. Ah, oh, so this is one of many photos of Gabe Clark, Gary Groth, Erica Wagner. Jeremy Wartzman. I don't know who that is. Oh, I think that's Eddie Campbell. <laughs> Man. And this is the sort of shit, this is the one time I did like a, some finished art in a, in a sketchbook. Let's put the, uh, the wide shot on so you can see that. <laughs> Man. Once and never again. I quite like it, but uh, I mean, for me, for me, this this just felt like this just felt like me pretending that I was somebody that that I wasn't. Um, let's have another look at that. Mm. I turned that into a Christmas card, though. That that ended up being quite useful. Man, you see, I've changed so much in all these years. All right, what else have we got here? Mm, Tom Doig. Hey, Tom. Weird, weird Tom Doig reading uh, Spalding Gray. Another double page spread, quite like this one. Oh, the fridge at Lauren's house. There's Lauren. Little pencil sketch of Lauren there. Hey, Lauren. All right. Uh, now this one was also like a, a bit of a breakthrough too. These are two fascinating old dudes that I met, I saw on public transport, and this has kind of like helped me understand kind of what kind of aesthetics I was interested in when I was looking at humans. And one of the themes of this um, YouTube video, I'm sure, will be me losing my way as far as like my my aesthetic interests. There's Astrid. Hey, Astrid. <laughs> That's me and Jed McGowan and Dave Kirsch when we uh, um, we went to a like a strip club. It was the worst. <laughs> there's there's Sam Alden. You can use this if you wanna. It was made for pap smears. Oh, I miss that guy. Paul Pope. Cecilia Latella. Oh, look at this. This is a good manga drawing of me. I don't even know who did that. Oof. All right. And there's always a bunch of junk in the back. So that was my first sketchbook. Um, and as, 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 as I went, uh, as, over the next few years, I started, I started burning through them a, a lot more quickly. 
Uh, let's go to there. This one, um, this one was, <laughs> I decided for some reason a terror uh, the, that I was going to go go into portrait format, maybe because they didn't have it at the at the supermarket. Um, but um, let's have a look at this one. It's nice to it's nice to start with a failed page with a sketchbook, I think. Um, found photo. And so, so this this one I, I I like. It's got quite a lot of um, exploration of aesthetics. Um, it's an idea for a a painting. I never got never got done. Oh, there's Dad. Hey, Dad. That's at my sister doing the speech at my sister's wedding. What's in here? Mickey Farrell poem by Mickey Farrell. Uh, pictures of baby boomers. Hope they don't vote for Trump today. Ronnie Scott. Hey, Ronnie. Liz McFarlane. What a shit drawing of you. <laughs> Liz McFarlane, one of my dearest friends. Never never made a good drawing of her. I don't know who that is. Um, this, this, this actually is the, one of the first times I... I actually started doing observational drawing out in the field, and that's ended up being the thing that I that I always always benefit from. Always feel like I feel like I, I come home with some sort of uh, some some sort of leap forward in my practice. Worst self portrait of all time. So here it looks like I it looks like what I'm doing is designing the cover for Blue. This must have been after Blue was finished and before it was published. While I was just trying to get trying to get it over the line on it. Oh, there's there's my uh, first, my niece Hazel. Man, I would never do that in a sketchbook now, but I quite like that drawing. Tim's wedding invite. Hey, Tim. Oh, look at that, Ben Ben Constantine. Uh, here's another prep for an artwork that didn't get didn't get done. I must have done. I, I must have had ambitions to be a some sort of a painter at that stage. Okay, and then a bunch of a bunch of writing in this one. <laughs> Trevor Handy, hey bud. Um, oh, okay. So here, here we've got um, this is like a bit the essay that was published in the back of Blue. So I, I, I guess I wrote it by hand the first time, and then uh, and then here's some uh, some early covers of Blue. Um, these all got canned. And then I arrived at this one, and then it was still a bit busy, so I, 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 I simplified it. And here, actually, this is probably the... F Blue must have been sort of finished at this point, and here I'm starting to figure out what my next book is going to look like. And if you look at that, there is actually quite a lot of the grot in this drawing here. So that, is, that, that would be from 2011, maybe? 2012? So that's like like a ten year old drawing that that sort of foreshadowed um, um, what the next graphic novel might be like. Woodblock print. Oh, look at this fucking pretentious bullshit. Oh, uh, what? That's like that's like something like a twenty year old would do. <laughs> Just serious self portrait, really serious. This is me again trying to figure out what the next book's going to look like. I had this sense that I wanted to be able to draw something really, really quick. Um, that was a bit of a fail because the next book took seven years. What else we got here? I don't think there's any, anything else great in the back here. So I, Alicia, um, this one's good. Alicia went to India and all these like smoking hot young Indian boys would give him give her passport photos and she and she she she'd keep them and I, I I very much enjoyed drawing making drawings based on these passport photos yeah this one gets a bit scrappy at the end let's see if there's anything right at the end oh yeah what this is That looks like another Sam Alden drawing over here. Must have been from when we were in the States.
Oh, I love this. I, mean, I was talking about this with Finn yesterday. These, um, oh, it's so beautiful. So that's that's my second sketchbook, and that's 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 just it was real. Really feeling like I'm in a, in a transition phase with this sketchbook, trying to figure out what what my life looks like, what the next book looks like. Um, let's see what else we got here. Look at this. Look at these guys. Some sort of uh, high school golf club. Let's have a look. No, no. Oh, wrong one. Okay, we've got Sean Klaus's wedding. Hey guys. Got a. Uh, Oh, look at that. There you go. There's, there's some grot right there. I must have known and kept that. You can see it's like a... Uh, why don't I put it up there? I'm starting to think about how, how the pedal-powered vehicles might work. Oh, what's going on? I think we've lost the camera. So this is where I kind of went wrong. I, I knew that I, I must have written the Grot at this point, and I knew that there were a lot of um, there were these two female characters that I had to find a form for, and I am ashamed to say that I must have spent a year in the weeds on this, and I think I think I'd been brainwashed by the world, and I just couldn't. I knew I, I just couldn't stop over sexualizing these these women i had to i had to draw it out of my body and um and so you can see when i'm trying to figure out what the designs for these uh these characters are that you keep end up getting these um these these drawings of like like sexualized women and it, oh man it it's just really distressing for me to, to 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 look back on these there's another pedal powered vehicle um, so, so what I'm talking about is the characters of Mossy and Frida in, in the Grot. That's a uh, very, very hard to see drawing of Juanita Nielsen. Um, and, and, and I would draw, I would draw these beautiful uh, women <laughs> and then I would, and then I'd have to go back to something like this, these sort of nightmare sort of characters to try and figure out, to figure, to, to, to recenter myself as far as what, what my, what aesthetic interests I had. And then you know, like it would be things like this old librarian that uh, that ended up being the, um, you know, me easing myself back into into trying to find these um, these the, the the form for these um, these female characters. They needed to be young. They needed to be cool. But um, but I like I just didn't have the visual vernacular in my practice yet to to draw them. Uh, Derek motion, Matt fraction. Um, and it's so funny because, um, because all of the, when I, when I go into the ugly zone, I'm very comfortable and I'm very, and I love the drawings, you know, like I love these drawings, but, but, when, but I, if I'm trying to do, draw someone who's sort of beautiful and intimidating, but not, not sexualized, I, I, I had, it took me years to figure that out. There's a maggot, um, cheeks. Hey cheeks. wonder what he's doing now. <laughs> there's a there's a technical drawing experiment. <laughs> Have a go at that if you're if you're if you're a if you're a tech nerd. Uh, sorry, if you're if you're a technical drawing nerd, have, try drawing a balloon animal with watercolor, no pencils. It'll mess you up. Oh, that's me kissing Lee Lee Rigozzi, or Lee kissing me at Vanessa Berry's party back in the day. And so this here's here's a page that I like. I've probably been banding this one out about. Trying to work out, trying to catch the 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 horror of going to Uber Drivers Festival and and looking at the white people there. That's kind of one of the things that I wanted to incorporate into the grot. You know, ugh. <laughs> nothing more terrifying than hanging out at the juice bar at fucking Ubered. Um, and here's uh oh, here's some early drawings of Penn. 
Um, everybody says that Penn looks like me, but actually Penn was, uh, Penn was sort of modeled on my father. That's why he looks like me. There's Carlio, one of our uh, departed friends. Old drawings of me when I was a kid. Oh, there's Dad there. That's that's who Penn was. Uh, Penn Penn was modelled on. Obviously, he's old and nearly dead there. But <laughs> John, another cartoonist. There's Penn version of Penn with long hair. What else have we got? Steel feeling around, trying to find these teenage characters. Gross. Get rid of that. Yvonne, it's a nice page. Must have been at the airport. Terrible drawing of Alicia. <laughs> oh man, there you go. There's a, there, there, there's a, an okay drawing. I like that one. So this is a f favorite photo of my sisters and I in bed on my fifth birthday. Definitely a great practice. Sit, take a photo that you love and meditate on it by trying to draw it with all sorts of different materials. Oh, okay, so here's how lost am I here? Trying to, just trying to get, capture this. this is I went through this thing of, 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 of looking for photos and drawing, drawing hair. I was trying to catch this, this sort of redhead vibe. And Volta City streetscape, not much change there actually. Um, you know, like what what does Frida look like? What you know, what like maybe she's got black hair, you know? Um, maybe she's like uh, maybe she looks like my friend Meg or something. Um, so lost here, so ashamed of so much of this stuff. But I definitely did a lot of observation, a lot of experimentation. Look at this, gross. Ugh. <laughs> There's another Falter City landscape though. That, that one carried carried through. Map? I drew a map. Don't know. Don't, didn't never refer to that. <laughs> and some more people. Someone riding a bike. Um, this is what what I imagine one of the 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 mob bosses that Falter City looks like. Um, anyway, and this this actually was, was kind of fun, but you can tell how lost I was. I just went through a fashion magazine and I just drew all the bobs. Just I, just, I was just interested in drawing the, the, um, the particular haircuts. Um, not sure who that is. That's MIA there, I think, or someone from an MIA um, photo shoot. Gross! Look at that shit. Gross. I think I was mostly interested in the hair there. Give me, give me that at least. This one. That's the that's 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 one of the ones that I was like, oh, okay, there's something here. It's quite a good quite a good drawing too for me, like as far as that that kind of realism. And then there's a good drawing of Lippy, which is, which is 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 a little bit spot on as well. And then this fucking, ugh, God, you can. So, so 2013, another failure. Oh, there's, there's Ord and Simon. Hey guys, John Retallick by the looks of it. So like, fail, 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 fail. And then, uh, and then I just go, oh, I've got to cleanse my palate. So I'm just going to draw like, uh, um, a, an old Irish peasant, um, collecting cow shit. Whew, got to clean, got to cleanse the palette, guys. Now this one is the one. A beautiful a couple of drawings of Yummo that I quite like, but this this is a drawing of a, a couple of Russian women in a bathhouse. <laughs> um, now that's the one that I was like, that's those are my characters. Um, that's the vibe I'm going for. Like like they 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 do seem cool and fun and terrifying, um, and uh, and so that so that feels like a that feels like something that I'm, I'm returning to. Again, immediately lost track, drawing some like 
Ugh, I'm so ashamed. Look at this fucking bullshit. Oh, God! <laughs> I forgot about that one. Oh, dear. But I, I guess I'm figuring out the materials. Anyway. So much shame. Now, I'm just going to test out. I think I've lost a camera. I have. I've lost a camera. So, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm glad I did this test. So what I'm going to do is um, finish the live stream now and I might come back and do another episode. Another episode. Um, when? I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe later tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Thanks for being on my you, you feed tube, guys. Thanks heaps. I love you.